In the hustle and bustle of life, we often find ourselves on autopilot, repeating patterns of behavior without conscious thought. But what if we could understand the mechanics of habits and harness their power for positive change? That's precisely what The Power of Habit explores, backed by compelling research and real-life stories that demonstrate the incredible influence habits have on our personal and professional lives. Welcome to Paige Turner's Book Cafe, where we explore the stories that ignite our imagination and inspire personal growth. So be prepared to uncover the secrets of habit formation and transformation. Chapter by chapter, Duhigg takes us on an enlightening journey. Starting with the Q Routine Reward Loop, the foundation of every habit. He unravels the science behind why habits exist and how they can be transformed. With captivating examples, he illustrates how habits can shape organizations, drive successful marketing campaigns, and even reveal the power of habit in sports. Chapter 1, The Habit Loop. How Habits Work Duhigg introduces the habit loop, consisting of three elements, the cue, the routine, and the reward. He explains how habits are formed and how they can be understood and modified. An example is Lisa Allen, who transformed her life by focusing on a keystone habit, exercising regularly, which led to positive changes in other areas of her life. Chapter 2, The Craving Brain. How to Create New Habits This chapter delves into the role of cravings in habit formation. It discusses the importance of identifying and understanding the underlying cravings that drive our routines. The example of the cookie experiment conducted at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology MIT, showcases how cravings can be manipulated to create new habits. Chapter 3, The Golden Rule of Habit Change. Why Transformation Occurs Duhigg explores the process of habit change by focusing on the golden rule of habit change. Keep the same cue and reward but change the routine. He provides examples of individuals who successfully overcame destructive habits and replaced them with healthier ones, illustrating the power of this approach. Chapter 4, Keystone Habits, or the Ballad of Paul O'Neill. Which habits matter most? The concept of keystone habits is introduced in this chapter. Duhigg explains how certain habits have a disproportionate impact on other areas of our lives. He discusses the transformation of aluminium manufacturer Alcoa under the leadership of Paul O'Neill and how a focus on safety as a keystone habit led to the overall improvement of the company. Chapter 5, Starbucks and the Habit of Success. When willpower becomes automatic, this chapter examines the importance of willpower and how it can be conserved by turning desired behaviors into habits. Duhigg explores the success of Starbucks in creating habitual customer behaviors and how they designed their stores and processes to facilitate habit formation. Chapter 6, The Power of a Crisis. How leaders create habits through accident and design Duhigg explores how crises can serve as catalysts for habit change. He presents examples such as the transformation of Rhode Island Hospital's emergency room and the story of the London Underground to illustrate how leaders can use crises to create new habits and improve organizational performance. Chapter 7. How Target Knows What You Want Before You Do. When companies predict and manipulate habits this chapter delves into the world of marketing and how companies leverage consumer habits to influence behavior. The example of Target's data-driven marketing strategy, which accurately predicted customer habits and needs, showcases how companies can use habit-based insights to drive sales. Chapter 8, Saddleback Church and the Montgomery Bus Boycott. How movements happen Duhigg explores how habits shape social movements and the power of community habits. He examines the role of habits in significant events such as the Montgomery Bus Boycott and the success of Saddleback Church, illustrating how collective habits can drive change and mobilize communities. Chapter 9, The Neurology of Free Will. Are we responsible for our habits? In the final chapter, Duhigg delves into the neuroscience of habits and free will. He discusses the interplay between our brains and our ability to shape our habits. The chapter explores the concept of choice and whether we can take responsibility for our habits. By exploring various contexts, from personal habits to organizational culture and societal movements, he paints a comprehensive picture of the power of habits and how they influence our lives. As we close the pages of The Power of Habit, we're left with a profound understanding that habits are not only the invisible architecture of our lives but also the key to unlocking our full potential.
So, whether you're looking to improve your habits, transform your organization, or simply gain a deeper understanding of human behavior, this book is a captivating guide to unleashing the power of habits. Thank you for joining us at Paige Turner's Book Cafe. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest book reviews and literary adventures. Until next time, keep turning those pages and exploring the world of ideas. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.